Hello everyone. Now let us look at the next problem. And this question was asked in Amazon as well as Paytm. In both the companies, they asked this question. And I must say it is a very creative question because uh, solving the question again, as as I told you many times, solving the question is easy. But uh, in efficient manner, it is uh, difficult as compared. Okay, so we'll be seeing the problem here. And uh, if you want to join the offline classroom coaching batch, you can also contact us on the contact number which is given below in this slide. As you can see, there's a contact number here as well as the email ID and the batches will be in Delhi. Now let us see the problem first. Find duplicates in an array. Given an array, your task is to complete the function print duplicates which print the duplicate elements of the given array. If no duplicate element is found, then it should print minus one. So assuming that if this is an array and it may, might be having some elements, for example the elements are 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 0, 3, 1 and 2. Now you can see what are the elements that are repeating in this array. So the elements that are repeating are 2 because 2 is coming here as well as here as well as here. So it is repeating 3 times. 3 is coming here as well as here as well as here so 3 is coming also uh, 3 is also coming 3 times and 1 is coming 2 times and this 0 is only coming 1 times so it is only coming 1 time so your job is to find duplicate elements right so here what are the duplicate elements they are 2 3 and 1 and 0 is not coming 2 times so it is only coming 1 time so duplicate elements are 0 3 2 3 and 1 and there's only one element which is coming only for one time. Now the most important thing in this question, so again as I told, it is easy to solve the problem but the most important thing in this question is that the auxiliary space, that space complexity should be order of 1 and the time complexity should be order of n. Now guys there are multiple solutions that, that may be present for this problem uh, which can solve the problem is in order of n square time or order of n time but given that space complexity is order of n time I'm going to discuss all these solutions before solving this problem I'm going to give you three to four different solutions of the same problem but I'm also going to prove you that those solutions are not correct because they're not satisfying this criteria so how the input should be given the first line of the input contains the t integer t denoting the number of test cases then the t cases follow like for example here this is denoting the number of test cases number of test cases so here two test cases are there, so the first test case is the second test case. The second number is denoting uh, uh, the number of elements in this array and the so this, these are the four elements. This third number again it is noting for the next test case that there are total five elements in the array and these are the elements. Now in the first array because there are no duplicate elements that is why we are printing minus one. In the second array there are two duplicate elements that is why we are printing two and three. And these are the constraints or the conditions that should be satisfied. Now there are multiple methods. The first method is use the two loops. In the outer loop, pick element one by one and count the number of occurrences of the picked element in the inner loop. For example, what we are going to do is if this is the array, it is having the elements 2, 3, 1, 0, 2, 4, 3. Right? Now I'm going to write one loop that will take one element here and it will compare to all the elements until it finds a duplicate element. Then we will take the next element and it will compare to all the elements until we find the duplicate element. Then we will take the third element and it will compare to all the elements until we find the duplicate element. It will take, take the fourth, fourth element and it will compare to all the elements until we find the duplicate element. So for this we are going to use two loops. So for the first loop, first loop that we are going to use that will be related to uh, picking one element. So this loop is going to use for pick one element, one element and the second loop inside this loop will be uh, taken care to compare with other elements but here when we are going to take an element so we can compare it from the beginning correct so how we are going to write it uh, for print repeating elements assuming that this is the array uh, we are taking a demo element here demo array here so this array is having the values which are 4 2 4 5 2 3 and 1 and this is the array ARR. Now for this array, we found out the size of the array by using this one, correct? And then we are print, uh, calling this function which is ARR and error comma size. So what is the size of the element? So it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 
and 6 so total of 7 elements are present so it will get the address of this array as well as it will get the size as the 7 now I'm going to use i and j as two variables for i I'm going to pick the element and for j I'm going to iterate through all the index locations now for i is equal to 0 so when i is equal to 0 I'm going to take j is equal to i plus 1 so j will point here and as you can see j will go till the end so because of j plus plus and j less than psi so j will go till the end so at any location if we find out a of i is equal to a of j that means if first we are going to compare 4 and 2 if they are not equal then j will be incremented now this 4 and 4 they are equal so as soon as we found out that these two elements are equal we are going to print that value again we are going to increment j and we are going to see if they are equal again we are going to increment j again we are going to increment j and so on correct so there may, might be some modifications that is required but my idea uh, of this program is to tell you that this kind of solution is possible right so there might be some modifications so that we don't print the same element again and again for example if 4 is coming 3 times 4 4 and 4 in this uh, in this program now it will uh, take the first element it will compare so it will print 4 it will take the next 4 and it will compare with all the other 4 so it will again print the 4 so it will it is this program is going to print 4 2 times if uh, element is repeating multiple times but my question is that uh, uh, this program again it is solve it is solving the same problem and it is very easy but the problem with this program is that uh, if this loop is going to run order of n time and this outer loop is also going to run order of n time so uh, the total time complexity of this program is order of n square right so when the inner loop the value of i is 0 the outer loop will run uh, n minus 1 times so when the i value of i will become 1 the outer will run uh, outer will loop will run n minus 2 times when the value of i is 2 the outer will loop run outer loop will run n minus 3 times and so on we have already seen such kind of programs before and the biggest problem with this program is the time complexity so this program is going to take order of n squared time to execute and in terms of space it is not going to take any extra space so the space complexity will be order of 1 now again as you see uh, we asked in the problem that the time space uh, space should be order of 1 and the time complexity should be order of n therefore this solution is not going to uh, solve our problem so we just let us analyze the second solution so in this solution we are going to use count array so what we are going to do is if we have an array assuming that this is an array it is having the elements 1 4 2 3 4 0 1 2 like this index locations are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and this is the original array now for this array we are going to create one more array here and this array will be having index locations uh, according to the range of the numbers for example 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we are going to assume that there is a range of this number so if the range of the numbers that are present inside this array they are from 0 to uh, let us say range 0 to k therefore the size of this array should be k okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take every element and for example the first element here is 1 so in the second array I'm going to go to the first index location I'm going to put 1 here second element is 4 so I'll go to fourth index location I'll go to I'll put 1 third element is 2 so in the second index location I'm going to put 1 uh, the next element is 3 so here I'm going to put 1 next element is 4 now I'll go to the fourth index location I'll see if this value is already 1 that means 4 is repeating itself so I can say the 4 is repeating itself now next element is 0 so I'll go to the zeroth index location I'm going to put 1 next element is 1 so what I'll do is I'll go to the first index location here and I'm going to put check this loop value and this value is already 1 therefore 1 is also repeating itself next value is 2 so I'll go to the second index location I'm checking that this value is already 1 therefore 2 is also repeating itself so this way I can clearly get how many elements are repeating themselves correct now for this uh, solution we have to traverse the array only once therefore the time complexity that is it is going to take is order of n but the space complexity because uh, if the numbers are from 0 to k that is the range is from 0 to k therefore the space complexity will be order of k or if I say the range is between 0 to n 
that the space complexity will be order of n correct so it is saying let me read out the solution first the traverse the array once so we traverse the array once while traversing keep track of the count of all the elements in the array is using a temporary array which is the count so this array i'm using is the count array okay of size n when seen an element whose count is already set so here we are setting the elements setting the locations print its duplicate so if we see for example if 4 is already here and we see that count of 4 is already 1 so that means 4 is repeating itself so i'm going to print 4 right so but the problem here is again it is going to take a lot of space and it is going to take uh, time as order of n which is better but space complexity is increasing so let us see how to implement this one i'm going to take this array uh, and then size of the array now here because of this i'm in, in cre i'm creating one more array uh, which is having count and the size of this count is depending on this size so i'm going to allocate memory to this array now i'll take integer i and for i is equal to 0 so in the initial array from the first array i will start from the in zeroth index location it will check uh, it will take the first number x it will go to the x index location here and it will put 1 here so if the count of array is 1 so it will check if this value is already 0 or 1 so initially i'm going to put zeros now it will go to this location if i found a number x it will go to the x location it will make it 1 right again it will find the number y it will go to the yth location and it will make it 1 now every time it will go to a certain location it will check whether the value is 1 or not if the value of that location is already 1 if the value of that location is already 1 it will just say that this number is repeating itself hence this is the repeating element right so this is again a very easy solution but again because of this statement because we are using an extra space here that is why the space complexity that this solution is using order of n and the time complexity because we are only having one loop so therefore the time complexity that this solution is using is also order of n space complexity and time complexity are both order of n now can you find a better solution this is my question now before giving a better solution i'll sh show you two more methods by which you can solve this problem one is using xor and second method i'm going to discuss here in the next video itself and then we are going to see what, see what is the time taken by those solutions and what is the problem with those solutions and then I'll also give you a better solution to solve the same problem. Okay, uh, stop here and uh, try to write a program, try to find your solution. So whenever I'm going to give you any program, just think about solving the problem. Okay, because solving the problem is important. It, telling me the solution, if I'm going to tell you the solution, that is not going to make you a good programmer. Okay, I can tell you the solution any number of times but you have to get your hands dirty you have to program as much as possible then only it will be a success for you okay uh, let us move on to the next video now